Hey, Gina, we got an anonymous gift basket. Yeah, it's full of treats. It's got meats, cheeses, candies, all the food groups. The cheese is amazing. It melts in my mouth and in my hands. Hmm, French chocolates, French cheeses, tiny French pickles. Did none of you detectives think this might be a gift for Captain Holt from someone in France? Like his husband, for example? What? <laughs> No way. This is a nice present from an unknown appreciative citizen that wanted us to munch. What's this then? Dear Captain Raymond Holt, thinking of you best, Dr. Kevin Cosner, PhD. He even used their pet names. Oh no, I ate the chocolate covered strawberry. That's the most intimate snack of them all. Holt's gonna be back from his meeting in 30 minutes. What do we do? Eat the note. No. No, it's okay. We can fix this. Check it out, sir. A lovely gift basket that Kevin sent you all the way from Paris. Straight from Paris! Stapler. Scissors. Rubber bands. That man really knows me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for all your help yesterday. I didn't do much. It was nothing. Good day. What's going on? Just very busy. Get back to work. Wait, what do you have in there? A balloon arch. Oh my god, Captain. She is magnificent. Vindication! I've been researching ways to raise morale, and I found an interesting article in a scientific journal. Oh, was it from the American Journal of No One Cares? According to a recent study, the physical act of smiling can improve your mood. I suggest we give it a shot. Hmm? Now you all try. Big smiles. Bigger, bigger! Great, now we just have to stay like this for the next two hours. Can you feel it? Working? I don't have any enamel on my teeth, so the cold air is excruciating. Maybe if you brushed your teeth once in a while, this wouldn't be a problem. I do brush my teeth. They're decaying from acid reflux. You're embarrassing yourself. Crikey! You're not Australian, Gina. Get stuffed, you drongo! Guys, seriously, too much exposure to air and they will turn to dust. This isn't working out as well as I'd hoped. Time for the next level. Forced laughing. <laughs> Wait for it, wait for it. 901, Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this, who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh, she was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself in a bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! You're right. What's that now? Before I came to the 9-9, I was rotting away behind a desk in the public relations department. All I wanted was the chance to do good police work again. I just got it. And I blew it, thinking about that devil toad. I'm tired of politics. Let's get that punk, Bloodso. <sighs> this is amazing. Of course, we have no idea where he is, but I love where your head's at. He has no family. Maybe there was a girlfriend or someone he worked with at the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Why would someone who knows they have $21 million coming take a minimum wage job? Because he needed access to that building. Because that's where the money's hidden. All right, we got to get there quick. Maybe we should take the chopper. <sighs> Here's that chopper. Deathblade, Sidewinder, it's go time. Roger that, wet blanket. No, from now on, call me Velvet Thunder. Okay. All 
right, here's where we stand. This nightclub is the home base for the Merrick Crime Syndicate. I've been tracking the club owner, Vladimir Drojic, AKA The Dragon, AKA my first perp with a cool nickname. What about El Baboso, the dagger? Yeah, it turns out Rosa was lying about that. El Baboso actually means the slug. <laughs> Tonto. That means dumb dumb. It was very cruel. I referred to myself as El Baboso to several beautiful Latina ladies. Oh, that's your type, isn't it, Jakey? Like Sophia and Sun. <laughs> Anyway, the dragon is involved in several counts of human trafficking, as well as, I'm sorry, what's going on? Who are you? Drexel with the Organized Crime Unit. I'm here for the mayor case materials. Oh, are you? Well, we'll see what my captain has to say about this. Thank you for taking the materials. Make sure you also pick up the files that are on Peralta's desk. Wow, that is not how I saw it playing out. Sir, I thought you said this was my case. I gave you two weeks. I'm done fending off the Organized Crime Unit. Squad. Since Peralta's briefing was cut short, you can all use this time to clean up your desks. Look at this place, half-eaten food, crumpled tissues, pictures of your families. What's wrong with pictures? If you love someone, you'll remember what they look like. What is this? Rubber band ball? Keep your bands in a box or a bag. Since you all apparently have time to play throw, I'm canceling overtime for the month, effective immediately. Get to work! and deball these bands. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age-old question. Right, what's Amy's deal? Is she single? No, we're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I can hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. <laughs> I know. Sorry for interrupting your dinner party. No problem at all. This is important. Also, Kevin's friend Margo's here, and she's a real class A drip. Sir, I can't get why you don't want me to file a complaint. I thought you, of all people, would support me. First of all, let me say what that officer did to you was wrong, deeply wrong, and I'm furious about it. Okay. So why don't you back me up? Because that complaint could backfire. Cops who blow the whistle on other cops almost always face the backlash, just like people who socialize with Margo invariably hear about her trip to Scottsdale. You're real worked up about Margo. Sorry. She's horrible. Listen, I don't want to see your career derailed because you were besmirched for reporting on another officer. But what he did was wrong. He should be besmirched. Yes, but is that besmirching worth the greater besmirching of your career? You have to balance besmirchings. There's politics to being a cop. But I wasn't harassed to being a cop. I was harassed as a black man. I'm not saying do nothing. I'm saying the most powerful action you can take is to rise through the ranks so that you can make large-scale changes. I've had to pick my battles, and it hasn't always been easy. But now I have my own precinct, a precinct whose officers would never do to you what Officer Maldak did. I understand what you're saying, but shh. I hear Margot's quick issues in the hallway. One guess as to where in Arizona she bought them. Scottsdale. Oh, Ray, there you are. I'm about to start my Scottsdale slideshow. It has all the highlights. There are no highlights in Scottsdale, Margo. And that's what you think, Raymond. Which means someone took Cheddar, and that person has the belt. But who? Who took Cheddar? Where are you coming from? Why do you care? Thought you weren't heisting. I'm not. I'm just interested in your comings and goings because I care about you as a friend. Okay, friend. I went to the bathroom. Well, you were gone a long time, friend. You feeling okay, friend? No, it was number two, and it was very intense, friend. Bless you. She sneezed. Dog allergies. Which means that Amy took... Shut up! Where is my dog? Aren't you standing right next to him? This bitch? Please. Watch. Jake. Jake. Idiot. I know one of you took Cheddar, and you did it for the sake of the heist. But if anything happens to him, I will end you. I couldn't bring myself to neuter Cheddar, but I will neuter you all. Abby.